Uh, April 28th, 2019, Sunday. Jungle Gems in Fairfield, Ohio. We are at a place called Here, Bryce. Jungle Gems. Where are you at, Bryce? There you are. We're at a place called Jungle Gems in Ohio. It's on Dixie Highway. They've got a few of them. It's on Dixie Highway. We're going to do a little video of what's inside here today. So uh, if, if you've never been there, then you need to come on out. We'll get up on the internet. I'll have the address in the video a little later. <laughs> yeah, Is she over, she over, over in the here. wine department? Over here. What were you saying about the wine? Sangria. Sangria. Oh, back here. You want to take a bit? You want to go look at this expensive wine? Let's go look at the expensive wine. Follow me. We're going to go look at the expensive we'll wine. Right back. <laughs> Most expensive wine. There it is. And it's expensive. You can buy it on Sunday. Yep. Uh, she wants a uh, quick tea. Alright, let's go look over here. Tons of IPAs. Here's a whole shelf of uh, hipster beer. Hipster beer. Hipster beer. Apple pie. Mm. Wines and wines and wines and more wines and lots of wines and shelves and shelves and shelves of wines. Just a jungle of wines. If you like a wine and you can't find it here, you don't like a wine. Look at the boots. Oh, look at that. The wine holder. Oh, cool. Top shelf. Mommy. Look at the kitty. I know. I like that cat. <laughs> I want to put a Coca-Cola bottle in that one. Oh, that would be kind of cool. All right, I found the wine. Oh, you found the wine? Okay. We're going to go look at the most expensive wine. Here it is. Woo. Yeah. That's a... It's kind of a... Hi. <laughs> oh. You gonna say hi? I'm not that ugly, am I? I will take a I glass. So. I'll take. You want to buy a bottle? Not for two thousand three. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. A five thousand dollar one? By golly, there is. I'm sorry, guys. A five thousand dollar bottle of wine. Two thousand five. That was priceless. They'll ship it. Last known bottle in the world, priceless. Huh. If you like to make beer, they have everything you need yeah. here to make beer. They do. They got everything. You can even buy the hops here. Um, Carbonation drops, malt, barley, oats. They have the caps to the buckets. They've got the funnels. Everything that you want or could possibly use to make beer They've got it here. They've got a bucket here that gives you volume information. Want to make some beer? You want to? No. Whatever. But you can. They even got corks for the bottles. I wouldn't mind making beer. I think it would be fun to learn that kind of trade. Well, Look! Oh, yeah, yeah, make your beer over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's a chiller. That's, 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 your, that's your beer that's chiller. That's a chiller, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's good to have a skill if you make beer. Burp, burp cups. Yep. Alright, let's go here. Oh, that's a cool one. I've never seen a burp cup like that. That's cool. Hmm. Yep. Mm. 
You ain't got your own. America. You got your America. America bottle cap. There you go. I guess this is a bottle cap capper. It is. Bottle cap capper. Hmm. We'll do oh, it. there's the hops. Yes, sir. And they got growlers, big growlers. All sorts of stuff. So. Yes, indeed. They have one of the largest uh, humidors here. Let's go in and take a look. You want to go in and take a look at some cigars? We're going to go in and take a look at some cigars. And okay. Tobacco. We'll be right back. I have just about anything you want. Oh, nice. It's probably about, what do you suppose, what's the humidity in here, I wonder? Swamp thing, Kentucky fire cured swamp thing. I'm not sure I want that. It's a candela wrapped. Oh. Green wrap. What's the humidity level in here, do you? 64. 64. I just looked. Oh, did you? It's right there. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you. Depends on what part of the humidor you're in. I guess so. Well, they came between 64 and 67. There they are. There they are open. Yeah, I saw that up there. That's a swamp thing? Yeah, swamp thing. That's a swamp rat. That's a swamp oh, thing. swamp swamp rat. <laughs> then we got swamp thing. Okay, and then we have Kentucky fire cured. Okay. If you're ever in doubt, you can always go Trader Jack's. Trader Jack's is a, <laughs> a good fallback. Yep. Can't go wrong with Trader those. Jack's. I guess, what'd she say that you needed? You is that it? That's the ones. Uh, well, you better get you some because she said that that smells. That's what she likes to smell. Yes, yeah, she does. This is um. I recorded some earlier today, and I think I oh I did, did, we butch did we butcher that other video? Yeah, we did. So okay. this is this is Jungle Gems. Yes. Oh and, me? Yes, you. Beep boop! I'm a Roblox. Beep boop! I'm a Roblox. Here at Jungle Gems in <laughs> Ohio on Dixie Highway. Ohio. Ohio. As his this offspring is the bigger says. jungle gems. There's two jungle gems. This one's the bigger. I've been to both. I prefer this one over the other one. The other one does have some things that aren't going to be found in this store, but this is where you're going to find the primary of everything. It's an international store. So if you're coming here from overseas, this is the store to get it. This is going to be your specialty store. So you're going to find ingredients here that you won't find anywhere else. Boy, isn't that the truth. You can yeah. find some strange stuff here. It is. So. Uh, but, you know, cigars alone, uh, you're going to find more here than you're going to find anywhere else in the world. Because, again, it's an international store. There's a taste for everybody. So people coming from Cuba or wherever else, they're going to find the brands here. Yep. True story. And Mrs. Beep Boop on the Roblox likes these cherry bombs. Cherry bombs. And uh, so he's got to buy some cherry bombs while he's here because he didn't bring any with him. So here you go. Hey, <laughs> the wafers. Oh, yeah. The, isn't that the... Uh, the acids, Acid waves. yeah, they re they really do burn well. No, put them back. Put them back. No, you're getting them. No. Look, happy wife, happy life, buddy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh. So big humidor. I mean, huge humidor. As you can see, I mean they've got they've got quite a selection here. Yeah, uh, quite a selection. Um, they've down their their pipe tobacco selection, uh, but they've appeared to have increased their cigar selection. Yep. So, must be, I mean, need. You know, people would rather have cigars over pipe tobacco. Supply and demand. I guess. So. Hi. Hi. You are. I am Kim. Kim. Hi. And you and you work here. <laughs> yes, I do. At, and we're at. Here in Jungle Gems. And Humidor. what city? The Fairfield, best. Ohio. Fairfield, Ohio. Yes. On Dixie Highway, right? On Dixie Highway. Is this not one of the biggest humidors in the United States? No. It is it's not. not. So how big is this humidor? I don't know the square footage, but East Gates is three times the size of this. <gasps> Where's this at? East Gate, our other store. I don't think I ever went in that one. Well, we'll have to go in that one. Okay. Okay. It's beautiful. Yes. You have sold me. Okay. 
Do you know it's, how? It, it's about a half hour, forty five minutes on the other we side. We went of there, but I don't think I ever visited the humidor itself. But yeah. yeah, I'll do that. There's a smoking lounge out back that's open every Friday night Woo! to smoke in, and it's open on Saturdays and Sundays it, for limited time. Okay. So, do you know how many brands you carry in here? Do not. <laughs> They're ever changing, so we're adding brands and. Well, yeah, we have lots of big boutique cigars now. Yes. So. Okay. Well, thank you, Kimberly. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Have a great day, gentlemen. Uh -huh. They also have humidor stuff. There's a Zycar, um, Zycar liquid, and all that kind of stuff. Humidors. Uh, they have hookah stuff. Hookah, hookah. Hookah, hookah. I got this guy up here. That, that, that guy right there. I like that. That's the guy. Wow. He looks stoner. Boy, that was some That's a shorty potent incense little. and some potent incense. Yeah, 30 yes. cents a stick. Well, I can see why, because it's got about three sticks worth of oil well, these in are, it. These are called dashboard incense. Okay. And uh, so you take these and you three them, them to your dashboard, and you put these incense in there. Okay. Not that I have experience with that, just from what I hear. And what would be the purpose of that? To make your car smell good. Better than what? Um, those little air fresheners that you hang on your uh, rearview mirror. Yeah, but what would you want it to smell better than? Uh, dirt, <laughs> uh, oils, stuff you shouldn't want in your car. I'm moving on before I get myself in trouble. Okay, so we saw the we saw the wines out there. Back here in the tobacco area, we've got. These are the hard liquors. Woo. These are huh? gonna be the hard liquors. You're gonna have your rums, Sailor Jerry. Ah, I like uh, it. Sailor Jerry's good. <laughs> I've been nursing a pint of that stuff for the last two or three years. That's good stuff. Um, but yeah, this is where you're gonna find all the hard liquors. It's behind a a, a, a checkpoint where uh, kids can't come beyond. Uh, yep. So you're gonna find all your whiskeys, your your. Uh, your hipster hard liquors. Hipster hard liquors. Hipster hard liquors. Yeah. Uh, where people have taken various things like uh, uh, belt leather and dirt and thrown it in, in you know, manlify their liquids. Yeah, 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 that's or it. Or whatever you want to call that's it. That's what they do, yeah. Manlify. Manlify. So again, they have plenty of selection. Seriously, this is a huge store. <laughs> I am surprised to learn. We are not even halfway through it. Oh, yeah. Year. No, no. But I am quite surprised to learn about the humidor thing. That's what gets me. I, I thought that this was a big one. We'll store. have to go to the other one, I suppose. We'll go to the other one. We'll go to the other one. I love that bottle. Good looking bottle? Yeah. Yeah, I'll mess you up. Huh? Three day. Right, there's drinks. Yeah. 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 yeah so what's behind you? Time out. Ah, so this is the tasting sampling bar for various beers, wines, and coffee. Uh, looks like they're gonna be running an event, so if you guys come down, beer fest from June 14th to June 15th. Over 100 brewers and 400 beers. That's where you're going to find all those hipster beers. The ones with the dirt and the... Dirt and leather from the belt and, you yeah. know, whatever else. <laughs> what else Brewed in a bathtub. There? Brewed in a bathtub. Okay, so they have a Starbucks here inside. They also have a... Jersey Mike's sub shop. So, they have almost as many cheeses as they have wines. Cheese 
cheeses from just about every country. And that's on the back side of this big cheese thing that we saw earlier. So they have that big cheese hanging there. Then we have the other side of the aisle. Put the instrumentals to it. What? Really? What? Hey, Brian. What? Cheese, cheeses. Purple cheese. Purple cheese. So they got cheeses all over the place. Cheese Louise. And of course, without, you have to have cheese with your wine. Yeah, lots of wine. So what we got going on here? Uh, candy. candy, candy, candy. I want to go to the aisle where that gummy pizza is. They got tons of specialty candies, and then they got a lot of nostalgic candies. Candies that, you know, old folks yeah, grew up this. with. That I suppose brings comfort to them when they find it, like black licorice gum. I like it, but it's not something I'd buy every day. Uh, tons of Pez, Pez dispenser and stuff. So there's a wall of Ooh, let's Pez. go over let's go over and look yeah. at the Pez dispensers. Alright so now you gotta walk up and down the island. Oh look you won't find these anywhere else. No you sure won't. Candy cigarettes. These are candy cigarettes. Look at the pizza. Gummy pizza. Gummy gummy snakes. All gummy gummy corn on the cob. Oh, Pez. Pez everywhere. Big, huge Pez. Star Wars Pez. All sorts of... If you if you want a Pez dispenser, you can get it here. Pez, Pez, Pez. Well... We'll get we'll get to some of the most interesting things you'll find at a jungle gyms, but this is just the first one we got. It's real earthworms coated in candy. So I mean they're they're really earthworms dried out and then coated in candy. So hotlicks.com is where you're gonna find them. And obviously here, made in America with genuine insects. You know that's made in America. Bulk jelly beans dispensers, jelly bellies, in bulk, as much or as little as you want, right here. Oh wait, who's looking at the jelly beans? Who who's looking at the jelly beans? Look, hey, Potter's frog. <laughs> oh my mercy, it's Jungle Jim and jelly beans. That's huge. Oh, look over there. I got a video going on of him. He's just pleased with himself that he's in jelly beans. <laughs> Pretty cool. They have a cooking school with Lay Barnhart Ox. Oaks, Ox, whoever that is. Amish recipes, 
they've got baked goods everywhere. One thing about this place is they don't go small on anything. If they uh, have it here, they have it in multiple multiple configurations. All sorts of meats. Now these are, uh, there's something special about it. These are actually, uh, these are raised on Amish farms. So there's no probiotics, no GMO injections, no nothing like that. So pure in heart, tiniest meat you'll ever find. What is it? Turkey gizzards. Turkey gizzards. Yum. Fairly good meat department. Indiana Kitchen Premium. They have that over here in Ohio. Indiana Kitchen Premium Pork. Okay. <laughs> Star Angus, Star Ranch Angus, satisfaction guaranteed. All sorts of all sorts of meat. Just anything that you could just about anything you could want. Do they have zebra here? Uh, they do not have zebra, but they do have kangaroo. Kangaroo. Uh, kangaroo, alligator, among other things, but no, they do not have zebra. No zebra. Okay. You can, however, buy your bacon thick cut. And if it's too thick and that's too thin, they will uh, they will cut for you the size that you want, the thickness that you want. Custom cut bacon? Custom cut bacon. You can take the whole slab home, cut it yourself, or they'll cut it here to the size that you, to the thickness you need. Very good. And People for the eating of tasty animals. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Works for me. Yes, sir. That was jackfruit. These are durian. These are the ones that stink. You got a whole history on them. But these are the tiniest I've ever seen. Pine leaf? Yeah. You know what those are for? Those are tobacco leaves. Are they? Yeah, so what you do is you take those in India, um, pine leaf treats they'll stuff them with a whole bunch of seasonings and whatnot and uh, some kind of mint and then they'll light it on fire and they'll shove it in your mouth and it's supposed to give you all senses Come on, certainly give you a hot sensation all I'm sure. senses uh, treat yeah so okay This is where things start to become kind of funky. Um, in the sense, when you buy fish, now I've had fish at sea level, and I've had fish inland, and I'm gonna tell you, the fish that you eat fresh, fresh, will taste way better than you get in any store or restaurant inland. I live in Indiana, so by the time it gets to me, at the very least, it's 24 hours old. But here you can buy your fish. Uh, a lot of times these will have, um, uh, they got clean water running through these tanks. So even though some of these are bottom feeders and it's got that fishy flavor, uh, these won't have that necessarily that, that same fishiness that you get caught at a lake. Um, yeah, you get to pick your, get to pick it and they will, uh, they'll dehead it, they'll, they'll you know, Keep it alive for you or kill it for you, whatever you ask.
Now what you could do is buy this little batch here, go throw them in the lake, and they'll reproduce like rabbits. <laughs> the rabbits of the lake. Rabbit fish. <laughs> rabbits of the lake. Striped bass. Now again, a lot of these are the bottom feeders, so they're gonna have that fishy flavor. If you want a really good fish, you gotta you gotta look at those top ocean fishes like mahi mahi or even swordfish, uh, some tunas. Uh, the, the the higher in the ocean they live, the less of that fishiness they get. So good to know. For those of you who live down south, <laughs> we found these in our backyard. You know, I used to bait those things. Now I just can't do it. Catfish natively have very little vision. They're all super close vision kind of animals. And they're putting them in square tanks. And they should be in a round tank prevent them from injuring themselves. And as you'll see, most of them have but have busted their lips on these edges because they're not they're not in a round tank. And if we go down here, the rest of them are the same way. They should not they should not look like this. This Okay, so here we are in kind of like the heart of the store, at least the international side. As you can see, there are like thousands of square feet of stuff from various ethnic persuasions. Oh yeah, so um, we'll hit majority of these aisles. We're not gonna hit them all. Seriously, if you wanna hit everything in this store, you're gonna have to take two days to be here so you're gonna have to stay in a hotel over the weekend and explore the store in detail it takes about two days but we'll show you the big aisle of hot sauce um, a lot of the international foods um, are based on the countries so when you're walking down the aisles you'll notice there are little tags that stick out that says Belgium or Asia or wherever um, so that they can coordinate their their ingredients I suppose but um, yeah we'll go through some of these aisles I am not an expert in hookahs and how hookahs work, but I do know what tobacco is. But here's some raspberry hookah tobacco. But essentially, a hookah gives you a cool smoke. Um, one that's not gonna burn you up. And great for uh, communal smoking. Um, you'll see that a lot of these have two pipes to them uh, to share with your partner, I suppose. Uh, there is one down here. four four individuals um, so you get to pick out your stems and your pipe your uh, lip piece um, so then you buy your your hookah tobaccos you buy some foil and then there are charcoal charcoal bri briquettes briquettes yeah charcoal briquettes uh, it usually comes 10 to a pack so it'll give you 10 smokes um, very good in flavor, very calming, just like any other type of tobacco use. Uh, it's, you know, it's there to be a recreational use. Displacement bowls. Look at that coffee, coffee table size. Must be a coffee break hookah. That's it. Here's some cheap replacements but they work you know cheap or not um, but yeah you could put ice in there um, to cool off the smoke again coming through it does kind of purify some of the smoke but it's not it's not a micro bubbling action so it's it's not really clearing a lot of the impurities and smoke but you know who smokes for safety
That duck's got tattoos, man. No, look, it's the same. Yeah. Oh, wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, if you've never been to Holland, you could say that you've been to Holland. You get some souvenirs to stick on your refrigerator. <laughs> I.E. I've been to Holland. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. In most cases, the stuff that you'll find in the international market has not actually been brought overseas. A lot of stuff, there's a huge import tax. So a lot of these are actually made locally through the brand from overseas. And they have partnered with some company here to market their products that they would typically sell in, let's say, Ireland. Uh, so they're made here with the same ingredients that you would find in Ireland, so it's the same flavor, same taste, uh, but it's actually not made in Ireland and then shipped over. Fermented, so it's going to be like a sour fruit soda. Yeah, and it's a ginger, something that blends well with kombucha, so you see a lot of ginger flavored ones. Hello, foodies. Sure glad to see you today. Thanks for shopping. 